Welcome to One Girl in All the World, the Buffy the Vampire Slayer rewatch podcast where we recap each episode in order and discuss. I'm Ashley, Buffy super fan. Kimmy, Buffy newbie. You can find us on all major podcast apps, YouTube and Instagram with new episodes on Tuesdays. So we're talking about Kimmy's favorite episode so far, Fan Candy. The episode was awful. <laughs> yeah, you had strong feelings about this episode. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't like it at all. It was uh, disappointing. Yeah, I put I, like, a... I know they have to have episodes in between the really good ones, but I feel like somebody took like a vacation and then they just like crumbled some stuff together and like we're like, okay, sure, this works. Mm-hmm. So I put out a, th- a thing to our listeners on our Instagram. Like, what do you think? What are your thoughts on being candy? Overall, it was really positive. I think people like, over- mm-hmm. I- I'm not a fan of this episode either, but um, overall, it's, I think, fun. Like people find it very fun. Okay, um, so it's just me being hard no, on it. no. I'm not. I don't really love it as well, but um, I think it's because like I think it's probably because like Snyder, Joyce, and Giles are so outrageously not themselves. I think that that mm. might be why people like it so much. No. Um. But yeah, we will see what we think. Well, we already know what we think, but we'll talk about it more. <laughs> so, Band Candy originally aired November 10th, 1998, and it was written by Jane Espenson. So she's like one of my favorite writers on the whole show. This was her first mm-hmm. episode. Okay, she's warming up. Like, we don't have to let you know. Don't don't dread her episodes coming I'm forward. Not, I was, like, surprised that I didn't remember that this was her first episode. Not I mean, strong. usually it takes a bit to get in the in the swing of things. So. Yeah. All right. So she's an amazing writer on the show. Actually, knowing that this was someone's first episode, writing their first episode, actually changes things a bit for me. Okay, continue. Okay. Um, it was directed by Michael Lang, and the synopsis is... Buffy is forced to grow up even faster when Mr. Trick executes a devious plot to render the town defenseless by causing Sunnydale's adult population to behave as irresponsible adolescents. Meanwhile, Buffy struggles to keep Angel's return and recovery a secret while her mom and Giles conspire to schedule her 24 hours a day. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So, yeah. They just want to keep keep her locked down. Mm-hmm. You can blame them, but... no. I mean, in a, in a sense, no, like I, I'm trying to put myself in there. She's, I don't, I have children, so I don't know what it's like. I can only imagine what this would be like for them. So, yeah. Yeah. So we start the episode in a graveyard. Go figure. And, and Giles and Buffy are studying. It's funny because. not for math. I mean, technically, I mean, kind of math because math will be involved, but. True. True. But, Good. Yes, the correct answer is the SATs. Yeah. So for the SATs. And it's funny because it seems like Giles is reading some kind of like. They make you think he's reading some kind of like old book or something like yeah. Watcher Slayer related. Yeah. But really, he's just testing her. He's doing like quiz questions on the SAT, which I loved. So did Buffy's you, you have to take it. your SATs? Is that correct? You I did those? the ACT. It's an so, ACT. So generally, I grew up in Ohio. So generally, if you were going to go in state to an in state school, like okay. they recommended you take the ACT. And if oh, you were going to go out of state, they recommended the SAT. So I only took the oh, ACT. This is fascinating. So does each state have an ACT then? I have no idea. Huh. Okay. I don't think so, but um, I didn't end up going out of state for college until like two years later. So um, did you have to take the SATs then? No. Oh. I just transferred because okay. I already had gotten into the school. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, we don't have SATs or AC- ACTs in Canada. Mm-hmm. So. so do you have any kind of standardized testing for college? I mean, no, you just, like, you, whatever your grades are in, right. in high so, school, basically. Yeah, it's, it. that's a whole thing. So you have, like, your AC, you, whatever your standardized test is, ACT, SAT, whatever, and then you have, like, your grades, your hours curriculars, your essay, all of it's combined. Like, it's all com- submitted together. Okay. So it isn't just your test scores. It's, like, everything. Right. It adds to it. Okay. Yeah. So, like, yeah, in Canada, we just, it's based off of your grades and, well, yeah, extracurriculars and stuff like that, too. Mm-hmm. Um and then a lot of the times when you would go to university, sometimes they would make you take a standardized test standardized test to test out of something. So, for instance, yeah. they made everyone take English. Uh, so I had to take an English exam, but I tested it out because my English um, obviously is fine. <laughs> um, so I didn't have to take any English classes in university. So yeah. stuff like that, yeah. They, they, we had something similar to that, too. You could test out of things. Okay. Um, Interesting. All right. But yeah, it's like not instead of test scores, it's in addition to or like, like I think that's like, that like a lot of pressure, these SAT things. It is. Yeah. The good thing is you can take it as many times as you want. It's it, but it's not cheap. But so yeah, so Buffy is studying for this and she's yeah. stressing about it. Yes. 
She's not taking it very seriously. She's not taking it very seriously. I mean... He's like, um, C. We haven't had a C in a long time. It must be C. The answer is C. <laughs> but yeah, so like you said, the vampire jumps out. She stakes him with her she pencil. Number, her number two pencil. Her number two pencil. And she's like, oops, now we can't do anymore. He gives her another. He's just like, right back to work. Okay, you stake the vampire. Let's get back to studying. Here's another pencil. And yeah. she's just like, oh, fine. I mean, it's high school. There needs to be a little bit of fun. Yeah, so she's, you know, right back to studying. Yeah. So then we go to City Hall, and we meet the mayor again. Mayor Wilkins is and asking... With Mr. Trick. With their Trick. Be, they're very, like, vague about it, but he's asking him to pull something off. Because he has to do a demon tribute. So he's basically telling Mr. Trick to, like, take care of this one part of the plan. It's mis- kind of mysterious. So we don't really know what's going on. But we yeah. do see Mayor Wilk- Wilkins walk to, like, a cabinet in his office, and he opens it, and there's all kinds of, like artifacts and like voodoo stuff yeah like voodoo, voodoo magical things like you could tell it's not he, he's he's not new to this you can tell mm-hmm. you know so we're like Ooh, what's going on with him so we go to the credits and we come back and they're in, in the quad buffy is talking about how she had sat nightmares <laughs> <laughs> uh she's being chased by like her test or something like that <laughs> um we again establish that oz is smart yeah, he offers to help her study, and Willow was all braggy and like he's the highest scoring person who ever who ever failed to graduate. <laughs> yeah. But yes, we okay, we know Oz is smart and that he has no motivation for anything. Okay, so that's been established again. Yeah. Um, she's gonna. She says, yeah, Willow and them offer to help her study, but she says she has to have mom time tonight because she has to like clock in the mom time. And they run into Snyder. Who is handing out boxes of candy and they're like, ooh, yay, it's just candy, like giving out a free. No. He's wrangling everybody it. in to sell the candy for the band. The band uniforms? Mm-hmm. Did you guys ever have like selling chocolate fundraisers and stuff? I'm sure. Yeah, we yeah. did, not for band uniforms. But no. Like, if we were going on a class trip or something, we would. Right. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, so they're like, okay, great. We're not in the band. He's like, oh, well, everybody's got to sell it. And <laughs> that's like, what I thought was weird, too. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that's not typical. That's why they're confused. That's why everyone's like, even Joyce is like, you're not in band. <laughs> like, why do you have to do this? <laughs> um, but it's funny because Billy says, what am I, uh, what am I, Billy Loman or Billy Loma? And it's, that's for the, the character from Death from a Salesman. So yeah. That was the reference. What they, yeah, what did they say? What was Buff- the reference? Buffy said, like, what am I, Willy Loman or Willy Loma, oh, whatever yeah, the name yeah. is? Yeah. And that's like yeah. this character from Death of a Salesman. Yeah. Did so you we go to high school. I can't remember. Oh, we did. Yeah. I can't remember now. Uh, we go to Buffy's house, and Buffy's getting Joyce to buy twenty of the forty candy bars. She got, yeah, she, she bought half of it. Yeah, half of it. Good. And yeah, Joyce is like, "You're not in the band." And she's like, "Yep, <laughs> I know." So she cons Joyce into buying twenty, twenty half of the bar she has, and Buffy brings. Up, they're eating like Chinese food for dinner and Buffy says yep. that she wants to talk about ha- getting her driver's license again. And Joyce is not having it. Yeah, she's like, I already know I already don't know where you are like the majority of the time. Like, I don't want to give you like a car. Knowing, yeah. like, not knowing if you're halfway to Chicago. Basically saying like, if I give you like an easier route to run away again, you might take it. Also, was um, that like a hint as to where she was? Was she in Chicago? No. She was in LA. Oh, okay. oh she was in LA? Okay. Yeah. But who, know- who knows where she'll go next time is what Joyce is thinking, right? If she has, like, means to get further away, mm-hmm. she might. Yeah. Um, Buffy's kind of offended by this. She's like, I'm not running away again. I just, like, want to, you know, she just really wants to drive. And Joyce is like, no, I just don't want you driving. Like, she's yeah. going to put her foot down with it. She doesn't want to, her to drive. And then Buffy's like, okay, well, I got to go. I got to go do Slayer stuff with Giles. with Giles. Yeah. And... It's funny because Joyce is like, you know, doesn't he monopolizes a lot of your time? You're like, you know what? And he never even says sorry about it. And then we cut to the library where Giles is putting a blindfolder on Buffy, and he like kind of pulls it too tight, and he's like, oh, sorry. So immediately he apologizes. Like it's a, it's a nice little <laughs> bridge. Yeah, yeah, it's a nice little bridge from the last scene. And so yeah, so this training exercise that Giles has her doing, he's putting a blindfold on her, and then he's gonna like silently stand somewhere in the room, and she has a basketball, and she has to like sense him. And, like, throw the basketball at him. <laughs> and he's pretty certain that she won't be able to do it. Yeah. I, like, he, so he's behind her. She's not facing him. And she goes to throw it. And he's, like, it bounces. And she throws it up on the, like, kind of, like, the the wall. 
it, when it starts to bounce, it's like, see, it's not as easy. It's not as easy as it seems. And then it comes back and hits her in the it face. <laughs> yeah. So she knew exactly what she was doing. Like, yep. <laughs> so she takes the mask off. It's so like, okay, well, awesome. guess, yeah, I guess I, I don't need any uh, training for that. Like, it was so funny. <laughs> to the guy that. Um, and she said, yeah, okay, now I have to go spend time with my mom because, you know, got to clock yeah. in with her. I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, we're like, hmm, okay. Yeah interesting he buys the other half of the yes that's right bars. yes that's right yeah. he buys the other half of the chocolate she bars suckers so. him into it yeah good yeah that's right that's important um so we go to the mansion and yeah, angel's angel doing doing is he tai chi tai chi yeah okay. he's doing tai chi okay and buffy brings him blood so that's where he she's actually going obviously she's like saying oh i'm at giles i'm at mom i'm at my mom's you know so they think they're and a different how did place. she not realize that could backfire and she also told willow that she was with her mom. So she's yeah, telling she, everybody she that she's somewhere else. Willow. Yeah. Um, she brings Angel blood and he's still kind of weak and she kind of like helps him sit down. He seems to be doing better and he yeah. seems to be... More himself. Yes, more himself. His mm-hmm. first self. Yeah. Or his like soul, self insold, his soul insold self. self. Yeah. <laughs> um, he asks how Scott is. And yeah, Buffy's like, he's actually, he's fine. Like she doesn't want to be like, he just dumped me. <laughs> No, it doesn't matter. And it's so funny what Angel says. They kind of like sit in silence for a little bit. And he's like, are you being careful? She's like, with Scott? Like. <laughs> and he's like, with slang, yeah. obviously. Because I'm not going to talk to you about your sex life, Duffy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's like, oh, yeah, of course I'm being careful. Um, <laughs> and he just says he worries about her. Yeah. And they basically have a conversation like when he's well again, like when he's strong enough to like be on his own, she won't be around anymore. Mm-hmm. And he's like, that probably is for the best. And she's like, yeah, like that kind of hurt her, I think, a little bit, him saying that. So Buffy comes home and oops, Giles and Joyce are there and they've caught her out. Yep. Yeah. So, well, she walks in and she starts apologizing. She's like, oh, sorry, I'm late. And then I think she started blaming Giles and then Giles just kind of walks in and I'm like, ah, crap. Oops. (laughs) Oopsie daisy. (laughs) Uh, And we also something to note through this whole conversation, uh, Giles and Joyce start eating the chocolate. So yes. that's when they start eating the chocolate. That is important. Yes. yes. Um, and then, I'll, yeah, and then we find out that, yeah, Willow also didn't know where she is. So that's, yeah. Yes, they, they were all worried where she that. was. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it comes down, like, Buffy's getting, like, in trouble, that she's pitting them against each other. Like, mm-hmm. where have you been? Like, we, we were worried. Um, you can't be lying to us. And Buffy gets very defensive, saying, you know, like, I just need a little bit of freedom. You guys are scheduling yeah. me 20. Each, each of you. 24 are, hours. Yeah, each of you so are scheduling me 20. hours in a day. That yeah. doesn't work. Yeah, so she's like, you know, I, I'm overwhelmed and everything. And she doesn't need so much active parenting. Yeah. And Giles says, okay, let's just not freak out. <laughs> he says freak out. And Buffy's like, freak out. Yeah. So that's the first sign that something's that a bit is. odd I didn't with even Giles. Catch that. Yeah. Not and then Giles. Joyce speak. Brought, and Joyce brings up that the last time she made a decision that she split. And then mm-hmm. Buffy says, but I took care of myself. It's mm-hmm. like, ooh. Yeah, so that, uh, six episodes in, that stuff is still raw. Between mm-hmm. her and her mom and yeah. everything, and everybody, like with Giles yeah. and everything. So he says, and then Giles tells her to go to bed. Yeah, yeah. Like, we'll like, just we'll just call it a night. We're gonna get heated, and we'll parent, have to just like, talk about yeah. it. He even says, like, I'm not your parent, but I do feel responsible for you. So yeah. he's getting involved in this. He is a parental figure to her for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So this kind of like conversation shelved at the moment. We go to a factory, and guess who's back? Ethan Rain. Yeah, we don't like him. Our favorite uh, Giles' friend. <laughs> the only person yeah, who has really. And then yeah. they're, like, making chocolate, and Ethan's like, don't eat that. And it's like, Tell, Yeah. One of the workers Ooh. kind of, like, eyeing it, like, hmm, I haven't had my break. I'm going to have a little, little bit of this chocolate. Little and snack. he says, yeah, you don't want to eat that. So then we're like, what's wrong with the chocolate? Hey, you work here. Like, don't eat the product. It's like, you don't want to eat that. Yeah. Yeah, There's so it's a different, it. Yeah. So we're in. And then, uh, I mean, honestly, though, that's my first clue. Like, when there's something wrong with the chocolate, and then it's like, oh, well, Principal Snyder was trying to make them sell it. So obviously, there's something wrong with it. Yeah. Don't trust anything that Principal Snyder gives you. Yeah. So we're in study hall, and it's Buffy and Cordelia are sitting together, and then behind them, Willow and Xander are sitting. And Giles at is late. Tables. And Giles is supposed to do the study hall, and yeah. he is late, which is very weird. And so they're all just kind of like talking because there's no teacher there. And Willow and Xander are talking about the chocolate. Uh, Xander's just eating his chocolate. Xander's eating it. Yeah. Yeah. And Willow said it. What like hotcakes? So she got two houses. They were gone. 
And they, <laughs> under the table, they start playing footsie. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This was like, so yeah, I was trying to give them a little bit of the benefit of the doubt last time. Like they had that kiss and they got mm-hmm. caught up in the moment and whatever. But now I'm like, mm, that's not okay. It's getting, it's continuing. Yeah. That's not yeah. cool. This is like, even, I don't know how, how many people would consider footsie's physical cheating, but this is definitely an emotional affair for sure. It's their, yeah. They're being, becoming more intimate with each other. Yes. Um, okay. They have feelings. Like, there's feelings. Yeah. So, so that's to, really the they problem. They need to resolve that shit. Yeah. If they want to be together, then they need to tell their partners. And uh, Cordelia turns around to talk to them, and they, like, jump and like, the whole yeah. table, like... <laughs> yeah, they, like, jump apart. Yeah, and the whole table, like, bump the table. Yeah, it's very, like, oh, God. <laughs> they get caught red-handed. Red-footed. So in the hallway, Snyder uh, says, you know, Giles, the librarian, like, d- didn't show up. So I need you, to, another teacher, to, like, go in and there and make sure they, you know, be there for City Hall. So Ms. it's Miss Barton. Miss Barton. Mm-hmm. She comes in and says, like, you know, okay, Snyder leaves. And she says, let's all just <laughs> pretend like we're reading something. Then we can all get out of here. <laughs> and they're like. And then Xander says, anyone else want to marry Miss Barton? Yeah. And Willow's like, get in line. I mean, not Willow. <laughs> Cordelia said that. Like, oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> They're all happy about it. But it is weird, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So Buffy is concerned that Giles didn't show. That's yeah, not so like him. She wants to go check on him. She's going to go check him. She goes to his house and she finds her her, her mom there. Giles is there. Mm-hmm. He said, oh, I called in. You know, me and her mom were going to have like a summit. And uh, that was more important than like going to study hall. And I called in and everything. So we're, we're working seems, out your schedule. He also seems absent-minded though. Mm-hmm. Like he's absent. I wrote he's absent-mindedly reading, and he yeah. So they sh- their like story to her is that they're trying to f- you know figure out something so it's easier on her. Like they can like m- work their schedules together so like yeah. she can have a life and stuff. Um, but then yeah. Joyce says Buffy can drive home, which is like what? Yeah, we 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 just had a conversation about how she does not want her driving. Yep, and Buffy doesn't even have her license. So yeah, she's yeah. letting her drive by herself without her license. <laughs> so Buffy's like shocked, obviously, mm-hmm. but yeah, she takes the keys and is not asking any more questions. Woo-hoo! She's like, I am, yeah, Joy bye. Woo. Yeah, she's out of there. And then when the, she leaves, Giles is like, or Joyce says something like, do you think she believed us or bought yeah. it? Yeah. And then Giles turns around with a cigarette in his mouth. He's like, oh, yeah. Like, yeah. And oh. Joyce grabs a bottle of alcohol. Like, what yeah. are you doing? They're what like hiding. They're rebelling. Like, so whatever's going on, they were trying to hide it from Buffy. So Willow and Buffy are driving in her car. They're going to go to the bronze. And Buffy's a horrible driver. <laughs> um, but, and then we go, we just, that's a little quick scene. And then we go back to Giles' place where Giles and Joyce are smoking, listening to records. Um, acting like teenagers. Yeah, acting like teenagers. Weird. And they're, he's, what they're listening to is cr- the Tales of Brave Ulysses by Cream. That's what they're listening to. Okay. And uh, Giles wants to go out. Out on the Joyce, town. Joyce thinks it'd be fun to go to the bronze, which I find weird. Yeah, and Giles is like, that place is dead. But then Giles, like, kind of, like, loses, he just has a white t-shirt on, he, like, messes his hair up, he's, like, start, you know, looks less stuffy, way less stuffy. Um, yeah, so they're gonna go out on the town. And he says that the bronze is dead, and we go right to the bronze, and it's like, and it's all packed. the adults are partying. The bronze, prior to this episode, was, like, Facebook um tw- uh, 2004 to like 2012 like it was the young kids it was like college age students or a little bit older you know yeah, yeah and yeah. then this episode is when facebook like all the parents joined it you know <laughs> and ruined it <laughs> like <laughs> all the boomers joined facebook and like this is what it is it's like the bronze at this night that's what it turned into and all the so funny. all like the teenagers are like what is going on this place is not cool anymore <laughs> Moving to Instagram. Bye. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so all the adults are partying and Buffy and Willow show up. And they're like, what's going on? Yeah, this they're, weird. they're like, huh? And then <laughs> Snyder. Oh, first they run. I think they first they well, run into Miss Barton. Barton. Yeah. And yeah. I wrote something about calls with little tree. Wait, I don't know what that means. She keeps calling Willow little tree because Willow. Oh, like, she calls Willow, tree. Willow little tree. She's right. like, hey, little tree. She's like a hippie. And they feel like she was like going for like the like, like flower child vibe like she's like right. Ooh, you know and then principal snyder isn't this place fun city fun city like, you, like <laughs> i he talks like that i cringed when he said that it's like <laughs> no wonder he was a dork you could tell he was a dork like 
Yeah, he's 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 nuts. Uh, and they're like, oh my god, are you okay? Like Principal Snyder? Yeah, yeah. He's like, just call me Snyder. Just the last name. Whatever. It's and he so says, funny. just like a name, a last name. And it was like that's like a reference. Barba something. And he was that was a reference to like Welcome Back Cotter. Because I guess like somebody yeah. just went by their last name. So he's trying to like emulate that. Like just call me Snyder. That doesn't work. He's not. Yeah. No, no, he's not. He's definitely not. And so like, yeah, everyone's acting crazy. Uh, and then, like, Willow and Buffy are talking about it. And then Willow's like, they're acting like a bunch of... And then she just kind of pauses. And Buffy's like, they're acting like a bunch of us. Yeah, <laughs> yes. yeah what's scarier than that? So we go to the factor- factory. Go to the factory. And Mr. Trick kills one of the workers. Mm-hmm. Uh, because he thinks he ate the chocolate. And... um. Ethan says, well, how, how did you know? He's like, I don't. I'm just making, like, basically an example. So, like, the others won't think about eating the chocolate. Wow. And they're, like, really ramping up production. It's like, yes, everything's going well. Like, we're getting more. Like, more chocolate's coming. Like, they're really mm-hmm. ramping up stuff. Yeah. So we go back to the bronze. And, and Oz, acting weirder. Yeah. Oz was on stage playing, but now he's joined Buffy and Willow. And... They like we have to do something. Like some obviously this is like hell mouth yeah, business. They have to figure out what happens. Something's going on. And they need to find Giles. So they like run out to the car, they get in there, and Snyder wants to tag along. And he jumps in the car and like briefly like, we don't have time to get rid of him. Like he's gonna have to come with yeah. us. Yeah. And, like, and so they the four of them go on this little trip and Buffy's like a horrible driver. <laughs> Oh, and they're talking about how they have to try to find Giles. They're racing to find Giles. And Oz is like, well, if they're thinking, like, well, if Giles isn't a teenager, acting like a teenager. And Oz says, well, you know, like, Giles at 16, he's probably, like, the same. And they're like, uh, no. Giles was not the Giles teenager. was wild into dark magic and everything. Dangerous. He was wild. He was yeah. Ripper, you know. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So, that's we it won't be a good Giles thing. Giles to be a teenager. Yeah, I don't want Giles to be a teenager. So we go to, I think I'm going to the Maple Court is the name of this street. So it's like where the coffee shop is, like the downtown area. So Giles and Joyce are walking. She sees a coat in a store. Oh, yeah. And she says it's very Juice Noon, which is, I didn't know who that was. But apparently it's like a pop and country singer. Um, And so she's like, oh, he's like, oh, you like it? She's like, yeah, but the store is closed. So he picks up a trash can. And just rams it through the window and breaks just, it and gets yeah, just the breaks jacket. in grabs he, it for he grabs something for himself too right like a hat or something a hat yes that's right yeah, yeah. okay um yes yeah, so they both get something and yeah she's like oh R- ripper that was so brave <laughs> yes yeah and then a cop like pulls a gun out of them because he sees them um and doing that stealing. Giles just wrestles him oh yeah. my god yeah the cop tries to stop them and then we get back into the car so we're going back and forth a little bit yes. and we see two teenage adults <laughs> drag racing. Yeah, about to drag oh, race. Oh, did you did you catch what cars they were drag racing? By the way, no, they are Volvos, which is hilarious because at that time they were actually considered the safest automobile. So I just right. thought that was a really funny, ironic, yeah. right? Yes, yeah. ironic. Yes, exactly. Parent so mobile, that was hilarious. Racing their parent. Volvos. I'm like, of course, racing their parent mobiles. Great mm-hmm. catch. I didn't even yeah. pay attention. <laughs> And one of them, like, after they're racing, like, he's still eating chocolate, distracted, and he T-bones Buffy in, them, Buffy. in the car. Yeah, so Buffy gets into an accident. Yeah. So Thanks. we don't know what happens there. And then we go back, and Giles just starts fighting the cop, mm-hmm. gets the gun, and just, like, be, just just gets the gun from the cop. So now Giles and, has a gun, which is great. And then what did, what did Giles and Joyce do? They start, like, making out on the top Ugh. of a police car. That's not okay. It's and then we okay. fade to black. What happened there? I don't know. <laughs> Gross. I don't want to know. Yeah, so Buffy gets out of the car. Everybody's okay. And the other and, driver runs off. Yeah, he runs off. <laughs> of course he does, because he's Buffy's, a teenager. And Buffy's like, there's no, hey, there's nobody coming. Like, there's, no, there's no adults. Like, no, Sunnydale like, uh, is defenseless. No adulting, leaving, yeah, things defenseless. Where are all the vampires? Um, something big must be happening somewhere Yes. Yeah. so she thinks it's definitely a distraction. Yep, she's correct. Um, and he, the guy, before he runs away, I think steals Snyder's chocolate. Oh, yeah. Um, and he's like, I have my chocolate. And, and that's I, when they realize they re- Buffy's the like, hmm, I think there's something going on with the chocolate. And he, she kind of, like, interrogates um, Snyder, like, where did the chocolate come from? He's like, I don't know. It came from the school board. Um, and Willow and Oz are going to go, like, do some research on, like, regression of, <laughs> I don't know, like, adolescence. I, know. I think, like, Oz, made, Oz, Oz says something about, like, 
look up Candy Curse and then we'll yeah. be like disturbing second childhood maybe? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Candy Curse. <laughs> uh, and Buffy and Snyder are going to go to the source where yeah. the, where they get so, the chocolate. I found this scene interesting. So Buffy kind of, it clicks in her mind that, okay, there's something wrong with the chocolate. And she decides to like kind of take charge. She's like, okay, Will and Oz, do you guys need to go research this? Principal Snyder and I are going to go to the source. And it's like, this is like a pivotal moment in the episode because I, I feel like Buffy needs to be the adult. She mm-hmm. needs to be the parent. She needs to take charge and do the things. And I just thought that was funny because there's been so much back and forth with her and Joyce of just like that kind of, you know, teenager adult control issue. And it's just now things are reversed. The dynamic so just, has yeah. switched. Yeah. yeah. Buffy has to be the mother <laughs> now. So of everybody. <laughs> yeah. The whole town. <laughs> the whole town. So at the factory, Buffy arrives with Snyder. And sees Giles and Joyce kissing and walks by and then realizes what she's seen. And pulls them apart. And pulls them apart. And, um, and freaks out, basically, yeah. that she's seen them uh, fighting. I mean, sees them kissing. And then they, three of them kind of get into get into it. Buffy's trying to get Giles to take her home. Giles is like, let your mom do what you want. Let her, let her have her chocolate. Because all the adults are like waiting there to get their fix. Because yeah. they're all like they're addicted, addicted to chocolate now. Yeah. He won't, they won't leave. So Buffy's like, fine. She like takes her mom with her into the factory and they come across right away. They come across Ethan on the phone in the library. Cordelia is talking about how her parents also had the chocolate mm-hmm. and like they were acting so weird. Her mom was like I trying she to. She said it was to, fun at first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then her mom tried clo- trying her clothes on and that's when Cordelia was like, no, not okay. I don't think so. Yeah. And then Xander's like, you know what? I, you know, if this candy is supposed to make you like super, uh, Immature. Juvenile and immature. Like, I ate it and I feel fine. Which is hilarious. So it means he's already yeah. juvenile and immature, so there's nothing more to do to him. Yeah, exactly. He, like, realizes in the middle of that sentence is like, oh, maybe that's not <laughs> the greatest thing ever. <laughs> um, and then there, when when Xander comes over to say that, he's handing Willow a book, and they, their <laughs> fingers kind of touch each other. Right, yes, but also um, Cordelia and Willow are talking about books and, like, I think Cordelia has a heavy book or something like that. She's like, hey, to Willow, do you want to swap? And Willow's like, what are you talking about? And Cordelia's like, books. Yeah, yeah, do you want I don't want to read this one. I don't think it's in English. Like, let's trade. Yeah, very jumpy, very, like, worried. (laughs) Yeah. So back at the factory, like, Ethan runs off and – Buffy and Giles chase after him. Snyder and Joyce kind of like stay behind. And Buffy, this is kind of like a ties into the exercise they were doing before. She kind of just senses that he's hiding in this like box and she punches through and his face is just there. <laughs> Ethan is such a coward. You know, really is. he is such a coward. He was just hiding he's in this box. character. Yeah. And uh, Buffy just punch. He's like, he's like, he looks like uh, Jack Nicholson in the, in the, the Shining, like in the oh, door. Yeah. Like his face is just there. <laughs> so... She rips him out of there and is going to interrogate him. In the meantime, Snyder tries to hit on Joyce. Of course. Gross. Not having it. She like no. rolls her eyes and like gets away from him. <laughs> and Giles is really pressuring Buffy just to beat Ethan up. Like, just beat him up. Like, he really wants some violence. Giles does. And she gets out of Ethan that they, he was just a distraction. He's like a, a contractor. He doesn't know. He was just trying to distract people from whoever mr trick getting this tribute for a demon yeah yeah he's helping mr trick collect for demon lurconis lurconis yeah he doesn't know what it is but he knows it's got to be big to like go to all this go to this trouble and people had to be out of it for some reason yeah and so we go to the hospital and we see vampires walking in and the hospital is in chaos and nobody's adulting yeah and we see these vampires go in and like take these newborn babies. So then we find oh, out like they're, they're, they're taking the babies. Yeah. So in the factory slash the library, um, Buffy calls Willow uh, to, to research L- Laconis. Mm-hmm. And while she's on the phone, Ethan comes at Buffy and Giles has the gun. So he just points at Ethan. Points it at Ethan. Yeah. And Buffy's like, give me the gun, Giles. No. No, give me that gun. And so he gives it to her. And she, like, tucks it in her bag or whatever. In her, actually, back of her pants. And she gets back on the phone, and she finds out that they they did find out what Laconis is up to. And it's, it's a demon that requires a sacrifice, a ritual feeding, every 30 years. 
Yeah, babies, apparently. And then he's like, oh, they eat babies. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, that's so weird. So now they at least know what's going on. And when they're going to leave, they're like, okay, we got to tie up, like, find something to tie up Ethan. And Buffy, I mean, Joyce pulls out handcuffs. She's, she's like, like, don't ask. She's like, never tell me. She just takes them. Like, never <laughs> tell me how you got these handcuffs. I don't even want to know what you've been up to. So that's what they're going to use. And it, Joyce is, like, sheepish about it. She's like, mm, hi, here you go. Like, you probably don't want to see this, but there you go. Uh, so they all go to the hospital, and the babies are gone. And Giles says they don't, they don't remember who took them. Like, they weren't paying attention. But we get a little glimmer of Giles because he kind of remembers that Luconis means glutton and that that means that they're going to do the the ritual sacrifice in the in the sewers. Right. So a little bit of his knowledge. He's like, I knew this. I know this. Like mm-hmm. something about this is familiar. So he remembers at least that information. And Buffy's trying to tell him to snap out of it. <laughs> yeah. They're like kissing again and all this stuff. She's like, I need adults. I need help. I need some adults. Um, and so they're Buffy's like, basically begging for the thing she didn't want. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and they're like, okay, we'll be good. Like, we'll behave. <laughs> and uh, she just sends Snyder home. He doesn't want to go. Uh, he's scared. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I'm going to stay here until the, if, maybe if the babies find their way back. <laughs> and the judge's like, are you scared? And they kind of get into it. And Buffy's like, just go home. Like, God, <laughs> you guys. She can't handle it. So they go to the sewers. Well, we for we go to the sewers before Buffy and the rest of them get there. Yeah. And we, Latin chanting? Is it yeah, Latin? Yeah. I, okay. I mean, sure. Okay, I don't know. It's but it's like vampires in like robes chanting over the, like, well, like four babies or something There's like that. Babies crying. Babies there. The mayor and Mr. Trick are getting ready. And the mayor is like making, he's like looking around. He's like, makes like a professional call on his phone. <laughs> To, like, I don't know, water and sewer. He's like, you know what? We have a problem down here. We got, like, so he's like, I am actually the mayor. <laughs> I have to, like, do my job. So he, like, makes, like, a business call yeah. while this is going to, like, happen, which I thought was funny. And Buffy shows up. So her and Giles start fighting everybody. And one of the vampires kind of get thrown into this, like, shallow pool of water. Yeah. Kind of. Mm-hmm. And Laconis comes out. Basically, Laconis is, like, a big snake. Yeah, he's really creepy, actually. Yeah, and just whoom, eats him yep. and pulls the vampire into his little pit or his little yep. nest or den or whatever it is. Giles is trying to fight, trying to fight, and gets thrown. He gets thrown in the same way, and they hear like a, like a rumbling. So like Laconis is coming back to to eat again. Yeah, and Buffy pulls down like a pipe, so it's a gas pipe, and there's like torches. So she like points it at there, points it at the, the the torch, and that of course makes a huge like flame. And she lights Laconis on fire before he can eat Giles. And it's like, ah. It's quite quite the unique kill. Yeah. And it like retreats into its, into its nest and it's like all burnt up. Trick is like up in the, up in the sewer and he's like, you know, this isn't over basically and takes off. And she's like, they always have to say something. They can't just leave. Like they always have to say something. (laughs) So Trick got away, but they saved the babies. And they say, he says something like, uh, I think Mr. Trick tells the mayor, I want to say. Oh, wait, this is later. Never mind. Okay. Uh, but we'll probably the next scene. We go to the mayor's the office. Scene. Yeah. So yeah. And Trick is telling the mayor, actually, like, I did you a favor. Now you don't have to do the tribute anymore. And the mayor says, be careful what, careful what How many favors, favors you, you do, do for me in the future. Yeah. So <laughs> like, Mr. Trick is yourself, like, basically. yeah, I still paid Ethan Rain because he held up his side of the bargain and uh but it failed and like the mayor is not happy about that and trick's yeah. trying to be like look on the bright side you know like now the demon's not an issue and you can just do whatever you want yeah you but the mayor isn't happy babies yeah the mayor isn't happy though no Mm-mm. so in the hallway everybody's back to normal snyder is back being snyder he's telling them to clean up the vandalism yeah there was like it says kiss rocks i thought it was really stupid when well it was like why would anybody want to kiss oh i get it like i thought that was so such a stupid joke yeah. Personally, I, like, rolled my eyes at that joke. Yeah. Like, Willow is, like, naive and, like, that's funny a lot of the time, but that was just didn't land for me. I thought it was a really stupid joke. But, yeah, so he's like, we had some vandalism. Like, here, I'll give you guys some paint and you guys have to have to clean this up. And then Buffy's talking to Giles. And it's funny. I love how, like, the SAT, like, because Buffy had the SATs the next morning, like, after this all happened. And... So Buffy's wet and done it already, and she's talking to Giles. And I love how they, like, it always sounds like they're talking about something else when they're talking about the SATs in this episode. Because she's like, 
everything I ever thought was like gone and I felt so alone. And he's like, oh, is that the math? <laughs> so she's talking about which, how she felt during the SAT. <laughs> I loved that. Um, yeah, he's like, well, you can always take it again. And she's just, just like, not, she's like, oh, that was like something. I, I don't know how I did. And so they run into Joyce and Joyce is picking up Buffy from school. And Giles and Joyce are super awkward. Yeah. And she's like, oh, like talks about when the, yeah, obviously um, Joyce's car is messed up from being hit. Mm-hmm. And Buffy's like, be glad that's the only thing that happened. Like, it could have been way worse. At least I got to you guys before you actually did anything. And then Buffy <laughs> walks away, and Joyce and Giles look at each other like, oh, hi, hi, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, hey, nice to see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very <laughs> awkward. So, obviously, something went down something with them. Something happened. The episode ends on a very awkward note, and we're left wondering. Oh, not wondering. I just don't want to know. I'm good. I hope we don't. How far did this go? Sure, we know that they, like, made out on the top of a cop car. But did anything no. else happen? No. I don't know. Mm-mm. It yeah. stopped there and then. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just so you can sleep at night. I have to find. <laughs> oh, sorry. Something I feel like they're my parents, so. <laughs> yeah, you're like, ew, that. no. <laughs> so my favorite quote, I didn't have, like, okay, this one wasn't. Yeah. Was so I like. There wasn't a lot of great quotes. Choice. There wasn't a lot of, like, great choices for, like, favorite parts. I just put. When Giles says, you're my slayer, knock his teeth down his throat. I thought that was kind of funny, the part where Giles is, like, trying to get Buffy to beat up Ethan. And he's, like, very, like, yeah, you know, that's not Giles. Mm-hmm. He's, like, oh, yeah, like, we're calm, we're collected and everything. But when Giles is, like, hit him, hit him. And, and, and he does, he goes, yeah. And she finally hits him. He's, like, yes. <laughs> he's such a ch- <laughs> so, he's so childish. I just thought that was funny. He's, like, you're my slayer. He's always, like, I'm your watcher. Like, like he just, like, his <laughs> attitude towards being, like, the Slayer Watcher dynamic in this episode is kind of funny. So I just said, like, you're my Slayer. Knock his teeth down his throat. It's so <laughs> not Giles. And then I said my favorite scene was when they were training with the basketball, which was a really funny oh, scene. Oh, yeah. That was a really good scene. He was all, like, up and he's like, not as easy as you think. A boom. And she, like, knew the whole time that she was going to bounce it off the wall and hit him right in the head. And I just thought it was so funny. Yeah. So I picked that as my favorite scene. Okay. I like that. That's good. <clears throat> Um, my favorite line and scene are basically the same. I just thought it was really funny when, um, Buffy tells Willow and Oz to go to the library to look up the chocolate thing. And Oz is like, candy curse? And Willow's like, disturbing second childhood. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> that was good. There's not going to be a candy curse. So. Yeah, like, well, how, this is like a little bit out of our wheelhouse. Yeah. Like, this definitely. is a bit different. You know what I mean? So where do we, yeah, where yeah. do we start with this? Yeah, that was funny. Yeah. And it was, just, it was my favorite scene, too, just because I thought it was really funny when Buffy just kind of had to take charge and, like, she had to be the adult, the parent, yeah. the grown-up. Yeah. I also liked the, the opening scene where they're studying for the SATs and, like, the pencil that and all really that. That was a good yeah. scene, actually. That was yeah. a good scene. Yeah. So my state grading, I gave it a 2.7. Generous. Out of five. Yeah. Um, I just said I didn't have much, like, many notes. Usually I have way more to say. I just, like, it wasn't strong... Um, there were moments when, like, the Joyce, Giles, and Snyder stuff was funny. There were moments when I, mm-hmm. I found it entertaining. Yeah, for sure. Um, I just didn't have, like, really, I put, like, there was no meat on the bones of this episode. I just didn't, I, d- I didn't care, really. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just, it just, yeah. It just wasn't there for me. Yeah. Like, I just didn't have much to say about it. Yeah. I agree. Um, I, I gave it a 2.5. Okay. We're in the same um, ballpark. Yeah. yeah, same ballpark. I so again, like I, I like the the one scene where Buffy's just kind of trying to take charge and like you have that whole role reversal thing. I thought that was like really pivotal, but then they just didn't really do much with it. Like I, I kind of was hoping Buffy would have more of a revelation, like, oh, this is what our parents have to go through and like this is actually really hard and like yeah. they didn't do that. Like they 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 kind they of set really it up. that. Yeah, exactly. they set it up, but they didn't kind of yeah, the fe- yeah, the the uh, follow through wasn't there. I feel like they were doing it, and I don't know if maybe she did the event like initially had more to the episode, but they had to cut some stuff out. Like, true, who knows maybe. True, um, but true. yeah. So I felt like they could have maybe done a little more with it, and they just kind of they kept it a little lighter, which I get because uh, we had that heavy episode before that, right? Yeah, the Slayer Fest. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, no, that's a really good point. I feel like they were trying to set up the lat lesson there, yeah, but it, so close. Like, we kind we saw the we saw the connection, but I don't know if Buffy saw it. We didn't see her yeah. see it, you know. Exactly. Yes, and I wanted to see her see it. Like maybe like if they got in the car, like after her at the end, her and Joyce got in the car, and there was and a conversation talk. about thirty like, seconds. Like. Joyce, she, like she was Buffy gonna was like, like I appreciate things more like I understand more you know? or even she was gonna be like don't worry I'm gonna be home early tonight or something like yeah something to like give her mom like 
a break reassurance. in that way. Like, yeah, some yeah. reassurance. I feel like that would would have, even if they didn't, like, say it explicitly, like, they implied it, like, but we didn't get that. Yeah. Very, that's no, a very, right. that's a very good point. Yeah. I feel like there was no character development at all in this episode for anybody. Um, good, very a good point as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Like, we didn't really learn a lot about anything. Um, yeah, I mean, it was kind of a throwaway. Yeah. And throwaway, like, want stand, Sometimes like, standalone. Yeah, and they can be great. Like, they can be, like, really, like, great. So, mm -hmm. but I just, yeah, this one didn't do it for either yeah. of us, I would say. Yeah. Okay, so your question for next week. So, the episode is called Revelations. Revelations. Yeah. There is a magical slash mystically powerful slash whatever piece of clothing in the next episode. What what piece of clothing is it? Uh, okay. I feel like <laughs> I feel like a dress or shirts or pants is gonna be too obvious. It's got to be like an add on accessory, like a hat, maybe. Okay. Or a scarf? No, nope. They're in California, so they're scarves. I'm gonna have to go with hat. Okay. Okay. All right, hat it is. Hat it is. Okay. So that wraps up season three, episode six, Band Candy. Again, you can find us on all major podcast apps, YouTube and Instagram at One Girl All the World Pod. You can email, email us at onegirlpod at gmail.com. Thanks for joining us. And we'll be back next week with season three, episode seven, Revelations. Slay you real soon. Bye. Bye.